Hey everybody, Brenda here. How are you all doing today? Hope you are all doing well. I am uh, here today with another project. I know it's been a while since I have uh, been with you guys. I had an all-day hospital uh, doctor's appointments yesterday. Uh, my husband has had surgery. He's recovering from surgery. It has been one of those weeks. So anyway, I am here and I am ready to start anew. I have a file folder here and we are going to work with this today. Um, what I'm going to do first with this file folder is I need to cut it down to nine inches, nine inches tall. Right now, my file folder is 11 and a half. Now, depending on what um, size file folder you have, if your tab is in the middle, like so, do I have two here? No. Nope. If your tab is in the middle, like so, you're going to want to cut off a piece on both ends so you can keep your tab in the middle. So what I have figured out is my um, file folder is 11 and a half. So you subtract the nine inches that you want your file folder to be tall. And that left, left me with two and a half inches in which I divided the two and a half inches by two because I'm going to cut on each end. And I came up with one and a quarter inches, hopefully that I need to cut off each end. So let's see what we can do here. I am not good at math at all. Not good at math. So at this end, I want to cut off one and a quarter, which is right here. I hope. And I'm going to turn it around and cut off the other end at one and a quarter. And as you can tell, that will keep your, um, your middle tab in the middle, which is what we want to do. Now, if you have your tab at the top or at the bottom. I don't, I think all you need to do is decide what end you want to cut your, uh, your tab off. Let's see, I don't have, well, yeah, I do. I have one, okay, got one here. So if your tab is at the top or the bottom, uh, you just like, on this one, I would just go two and a half inches off the bottom and cut right along, right along the bottom. And then that way I would keep my tab. Now that depends, you know, if you want to keep your tab. Um, some may want to just cut it off completely and have their, uh, have no tab at all. So that is where I'm <clears throat> starting with this. So, now that we have our folder cut down to nine inches, we are going to need our scoring board. And get my little score tool out. So what you wanna do now is open up your folder, okay? Make sure that this end is all the way over on your scoreboard to the left. Open it, keeping this as tight as you can to the end. And we are going to score at four and seven eighths, which will be the line right before the five. So four and seven eighths that little mark right before your five, we are going to score all the way down. 
So then what we need to do is turn our folder so it's on the other side that we haven't scored yet. Do the same thing and make sure that our edge is right up next to the edge of the scoreboard. Hold that nice and tight and score again at four and seven eighths. Okay, four and seven eighths. That is all we need our scoreboard for. So I will put that back. <clears throat> and then all we need to do is take our score lines and fold this one in this side. And I'm gonna burnish that down. Go to the other side and fold in the same way and burnish that down. And then we use our regular fold, the normal fold, and we're going to fold it like so. And this is what we will end up with, is a four panel little folio. So this is what you want to end up with. Like so. Now, up to you again if um, you want to you know me and my corners. I want to round my corners here. So I'm going to get my corner punch on the half inch. And these are just the outside panels that I am rounding the corners. to here and there we go we have our little four panel folio now from here okay you can basically do whatever you want to do you can turn this into a journal you can turn it into a lap book. You can just decorate it any way that you want with pockets and everything and have it be like a little ephemera holder. So once you get it to this stage, you can use your imagination and do lots of things, okay? What I am going to do with this one is I have my other one here and what I have done is the outside I have totally covered with um, neutral papers mostly uh, you know the book page and letters and uh, ledger paper I like to have mine in different shades of the neutral so this is what I'm doing on the outside. And I try, um, here's the thing, you can try to uh, not go over the fold with your papers and go right up to the fold. Or you can just, you know, lay your paper over, but make sure that you have enough paper so when you fold, it doesn't lift up on you. Okay, so here I have the fold here, I have it here, and I have it here. Now you also may have trouble with cracking, but I wouldn't worry on, in my case, I wouldn't worry about that because I will be putting fabric over the uh, spines so I'm not worried really about my spines at this point 
Okay, so um, what I'm planning on doing on the inside is just, now you can do what you want. You can do uh, pretty paper on the inside. You can do, which I might do it on this one. You can do like the pretty digitals on the, on the inside or um, uh, plain paper like uh, and I will show you one that I've got going here I, I you can put plain paper and my idea was to on the first one that I did was to have plain paper so you could draw doodle write anything you want on the inside cover so that was my my plan on um i don't know if this is dry enough to show you but i also have to mess with it to uh take it apart because i have done some mod podging on it so i don't think i'm going to mess with it right now it's drying so i'm going to show you the inside of this later right now what i'm going to do with this is decorate the outside now what i want to do first i first i layered all the book page and stuff now my thought was to put some pops of color on here which is was going to be my next thing to do so i pulled out these two digital sheets and thought that I might use some of this paper to uh, pop some color on the outside. Now this is totally um, up to you how you want to um, do the outside um, whether you, whoops whether you want pops of color or just uh you know like flowers and and mushrooms and uh birds if i can get this so what i plan to do is just rip some of this down and do like pops of color like maybe one here, like so, or over here like this. But what I want to do is not put it on the seam at all. So I'm trying to put keep my paper right away from the seam where it bends here because these are smaller pieces of paper. So I don't want to uh, lift when I fold. So, trying to figure out where I want this pretty piece. I know I want it in a corner, the way it is shaped. So, maybe, and I don't think it really makes a difference anyway, but I think I'm just going to put it down here in, in one of the corners. So, I'm just going to use my glue stick and pop some color down just in various areas. And that I want to do um, first after I got my um, after I got my uh, neutral down. So pop color there, maybe a pop of color. I wanted some um, something else too, but I don't know what I have. I should have gotten it out before I started, but it slipped my mind. So now I'm going to see where I want some of the uh, 
some of the green. Don't really want a big, big piece, but maybe right up here at the top would be a good, good place to go. Really don't want this one on there. So, folded that right over. So I want something up here, like so. Let's see if it will fit this way. Yep, it should fit that way. That would be better. Okay, I probably should be using my little squeegee. Okay. Um, I guess I will put a piece over here on the front. So I'm going to put a piece right here up at the top. I'm trying not to line things up like one, two, three, like so. I kind of want to um, distribute them all around instead of lining things up. So um, I'm going to put this one right up here, staying away from the... Um, staying away from the edge the fold and then maybe a piece of green right in the middle would do it Let's see what we can do with this don't think I want it that big This way, yeah, like that. Like I said, just try. Oh, I hate to cover those up though. I'll go underneath it. I don't like to, well, it's going to be covered sooner or later anyway, so yeah, I'll go up. <laughs> I'll go up a little. Okay. So I think I'm satisfied with my pop of color. I really don't think I need anything else for now because the next thing I am putting on is some, some flowers or some birds or some, and I got some stuff right out here that I thought I would use. So I liked these flowers and I thought I would use something like that and I've got this one here, which I really love. And what I do is set things out first before I glue down. Like I might want that one, I think, right over here instead. And let's see what else we have here. I do have some mushrooms picked out. I kind of wanted some mushrooms also don't know where i'll put them as of yet so i think i'll go back with my flowers <laughs> okay so i have this one i'm already using like that um i have a smaller one that might just go 
right up here and let's see I have this one which might go there in the middle I think that's all I want for flowers. That's what I have left here. Oh, I do like this one. I do like this one. So, I don't want this one and this one side by side, but I could go like this. But then they're all lined up. So do I want this one up here? I do. So I'll put this one up there. These two I think will be okay. I want that one over here. Um, and... Maybe see if I can get some mushrooms on here. Maybe this one would be better here. So maybe a mushroom there. Put that more in the middle maybe. And hmm. one up there, not quite to the top. Okay, I think I'm fine with this. That's the small, I don't want another one. Um, well, they say to go in threes, so maybe I will use one more. This one or this one. Yeah, I'll put one more there. Okay. So maybe this one needs to come down some right in the middle. Like so. There. I like that. Um, I think that will be fine like that. Uh, oh, I did have some more things over here. I had a big mushroom. And another set of flowers, but I think I'm going to leave it like so for now. So I will get these glued down where I want them. Now, my thought process is I am going to turn this into a um, sort of a lap book. It'll be sort of a folio lap book. But I may also have um, some little tablets or paper, some kind of writing also I want in here. But, you know, I may, whoops, change my mind as we go along. Just playing around with a file folder and seeing what we can do. I love altering file folders. I think I've mentioned that before. So just, uh, you know, playing around and see what we can 
see what we can do with one. Put that right about there. And I'll probably uh, go over the, these, some of these. Well, probably not. I won't. I was going to say I might distress some of these as I go along, but um, I probably won't. I won't need to. And this I want right about here in the middle. Wondering if I should have that down here and that up there because this is kind of I know I don't like to go like straight across but that one that was kind of top heavy to me up there so let's see um, if it will look better down at the bottom or maybe no I don't want it in the middle because I want the mushroom right here and I can't really have it yeah I could put it in the middle I'm gonna put this one up so it's not in a line Can, am I on camera here <laughs> I'm going to put this up in the middle some so it's not like lined right up with the uh, the three that I already have pretty much in a line. I was trying to avoid that, but when you go up with these larger flowers, they um, tend to uh, look bottom heavy. That other one is way too big. This one here is way too big. So I think I'm just going to put that right in the middle of the greenery because I don't really have anything else. I don't think that would. I have a. That's a little bigger. We'll use this one. Okay, put that right in the middle. Okay. And then also, of course, um, I went over a couple places, so I do need to trim where I over glued. And a little corner right here. And right here. Get the trimming out of the way. So I think that's good for the um, for the flowers and the mushrooms and the color pop of color little tiny bit sticking up right there. Okay, so next what we need to do is do I think a little stamping around so um, I'm gonna do I'm gonna stamp around with some a little label I've got these from uh, the Tim Holtz uh, I think it's what is it called it's the specimen one with all the numbers and the um, the labels and the can't remember what it's called now. 
Oh, I got it right here. It is the field notes. It's the field notes. And of course, mine is all apart and all over the place. So I have this little label one here that I want to just uh, put some labels around like so. Else do we need one? Maybe here and maybe right here. And I have some numbers to throw on. Um, I want one right up here. And one down here. And maybe one right there. And then I have another set of numbers. Let's see, maybe right there. Right there. And right there. So, I also wanted to uh, put some label labels around. These came from, I think these are from Rachel. And, well, oh, I like this one. Where can I put this one? Maybe right there. That one right there. The idea is to just um, fill in some spaces with whatever you feel like you want to uh, load up some of the spaces with. And let's see, I have this one here, which would Go. Let's see. Maybe over here. Put one right in here in this space. Right there. And let's see. We can find one more. This one, I will put one right down there. No, I'm not sure how that goes, but put that one there and I want something right over here. That's way too big. This one, let's see. That one will work. The book's getting a little sticky over here. One right up here in the corner. There we go. Labels. Ow, my finger. Okay, now. 
I think it's about covered to where I want it. And my next step now would be to uh, go on the inside and put all the, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to do it with the neutral colors on the inside or some pretty designer paper or whatever on the inside. So I think what I'm going to do is stop right here and if you are uh if you are doing this along with me that will give you some uh chance to catch up to me and then i think what i'm going to do is offline do the inside because it's just basically collaging and then the next time we get together, I will show you the next step. So uh, I'll let you go. I hope you're all doing well. I don't know if I asked that, but also uh, I wanted to mention um, when I find my stamps, I'll probably put a few little uh, stamps like this or some kind of stamps on there also. That's another uh Actually, that one will go good right there. Uh, that's another thing that we can add to this. Um, I don't know where my stamps are. So I've been using like uh, the faux stamps. If I can find them here and there. I like this one right here. So that's another thing that um, I may be adding. So if you have some... Uh, Pretty stamps. I mean, I've got these two that uh, came with a kit. I'll probably cut out just a few of these and maybe stick those around. Um, but as it stands right now, I'm going to let you go. And I thank you very much for joining me. If you're new to my channel, please hit that bell and new and subscribe and new videos will uh, pop up for you. And if you uh, lost my train of thought, but anyway, I'm hoping that you all have a wonderful, blessed day and uh, catch up to me if you're crafting along. I appreciate you. Uh, thank you to all the new subbies and um, thank you to all the, re the uh, uh, what's the word I want? Oh, I can't think of it right now. Thank you to all is what I'm trying to say. Thank you all. I really appreciate you all. So at that, let me let you go. Have a blessed, wonderful day, and I will see you the next time. Bye-bye, everybody.